people welcome to another video my name is namalina and you are tuned into episode one of a brand new series where i'll be shopping internationally and giving you guys all the details the customs the shipping the fit and today's episode is focused on the one and only Ta -da! can we just have like a round of applause skims guys finally delivers to south africa i think we all need to go to guillermo's channel i will leave a screenshot of her channel and the video she did she purchased from skims and at that time they did not deliver to south africa so she had a personal message for kim yes the kim kardashian actually let me talk to kim if you're not kim skip like 10 seconds kim kardashian girl first of all why don't you deliver in south africa number two why is so so expensive like why anyway i'll call you later kim and after that all of a sudden kim ships to south africa not only does she ship to south africa but express shipping to south africa is only 150 rand so for my order my shipping was exactly 149.73 i will leave the total here on the side this is exactly how it came it came in this huge as box and i'm really excited to go through all of these items with you guys and try them out and see if skims is worth it but yes they do ship to south africa so i ordered on the 24th of february my item was delivered on the 3rd of March. So you guys can see that it took less than two weeks. Um, my customs amount was quite expensive, I must say. They essentially told me that they took 45% um, of my total order amount. So the amount I paid and at the exchange rate at that time, they used DHL, so you guys know they're real professional and everything. My customs amount was 1,685.15. I essentially paid 1,685.15 for customs on top of the amount that I already paid. So that honestly was so disgusting. I remember just thinking, is it even worth it? Like, do I really want this stuff if I'm going to pay this much in customs? Anyway, guys, so I got three items and a gift bag. Um, I got this item, which looks like that. And I will open everything and try it on for you guys and give you my sizing and everything. This is item number two. And the packaging for the last item is like that. And then right here at the base, I've got my Skims gift bag. Um, they also do include a packaging slip that just lets you know everything you got, how many of them, and um, the size that you got. And they also have their return policy here. So really, really nice. They've got everything lined up. But this box is so unnecessarily big. So I got the gift bag. Um, I wanted to just see what it's like. So it is such a nice quality. It is not the most amazing quality, but it has like a soft velvety finish to it. It's just, your. it feels luxurious. It has a really nice soft velvety finish to it. And I think they use that big box to ensure that the gift box, um, the gift bag does not get damaged. And then inside they included some black plain um, gift paper so that's what it looks like and then it also has it has two thick straps this is like that shoelace material i forgot what it's called but two thick straps and then it also has these two tabs here for you to tie it up like into a little bow when you place your items inside so really really nice touch all right so i'm just going to keep it over there for the rest of the video so which items did i get guys i am so excited but literally going to try on these items as I speak about them. Just a quick summary of my measurements. I am 1.7 meters tall. I am a size extra large. I am a size 38, which is a size extra large. Um, and for my bust, because I do have a bra as my first item that I'm reviewing for you guys, I am a 36 G cup. Okay, so number one, sculpting bra in the color Coco. This is 505 Rand, and I got it in the size large, extra large. Now, the thing about this is they don't have like just extra large. It's like large to extra large. And then the next one is two extra large to three extra large. So I'm an extra large. Um, so I thought, okay, let me just take large, extra large because it's supposed to be like um, a sculpting sports bra. 
it's supposed to be like a bra so i need some type of support so if i go for large extra large like a size down and my size then it should fit perfectly i have tried this on but i will try it on for you guys again so all of the items all of the items have like this little window over here and then they have a sticker up here that you just peel off like that this packaging has a really nice um like velvet touch to it the skins here is raised up and this is the sculpting bra in the color cocoa they have multiple colors and i'll leave an example here on the side so i have worn this but i will put it on for you guys again it just comes wrapped on this paper which i found really like awkward like why at least branded or something this that was very awkward for me however the worst part is how tiny this is I said this on my Instagram story. This looks like Brian Wana Crash. Like it looks like a bra for a toddler. And just to give you like an idea of how small it is, I wanna just it could be a necklace. That's how small this bra is. Like, do you guys see that? It could be a scarf. That's literally how small this bra is now with all the reviews i watched people kept saying that you know the items really stretch um so don't be shocked when you see how tiny they are um so yeah that's the same thing that people were saying about this bra so 550 i actually want to compare this bra to another bra i have you guys will see it has that um sticky tape thing here which actually works well and it's it has adjustable straps as well so you are able to adjust the straps there let me show you guys a similar bra but this one is from pip so this is my um house bra from pip um essentially this is a bra I just wear around the house so that my boobs are just not flying everywhere and if i have a quick errand to run then i would ideally like to be able to just pop a shirt on top and still look put together and quickly go somewhere and come back also people use these type of bras to sleep particularly when you have a bigger bust okay so this is the one from pep can you guys see the size of it and then look at the one from skims i don't know if you guys are actually able to tell that the one from pep is like literally like double the size or just a little bit more than the one from Steam. So I will put both of them on for you guys to see. Um, this one does not have any of like that um, sticky stuff here. It is in the size extra large, um, but the shape is pretty much the same. It also has adjustable straps. So does the Skims one. This one is more like sportsy. This one looks like the normal straps that we're used to in a bra. Um, I hope you guys can see that. I'll put both of them on so that we can see which one works best. All right, guys. So here is the sculpting bra on. Like I said, I have worn this bra before. I must say I am very impressed by the quality and the support. Unfortunately, this is far too small for me. Here by the arms here, the coverage is fantastic, guys. Most sports bras are not able to do this. Or these lounge bras that you wear inside the house. They're not able to do this cover all the way here. They normally come around here. And I will put on the pep bra so we can really compare everything. Um, but the support on this, the hold, the way it holds my boots up is fantastic. And remember, I am a 36 G cup. So this hold is amazing. However, it's not for running errands or going to the gym. You guys can see my boots are literally flying everywhere. This is for lounging in the house. This is a sleeping bra. This is quickly going to the dustbin or fetching a parcel from DHL and you're done. This is not going to the mall or anything of the sort. This size is too small because here it is digging in like crazy. I literally want to take this bra off right now. And you can adjust it, but that's not going to help. And then over here, it is far too tight. It feels like it's restricting me. Then underneath here, it has that um, elastic sticky thing. It keeps rolling up. So it is too small. It keeps rolling up. Instead of staying nice and like placed down like that, it keeps rolling up. Okay, so I would need the two, uh, two extra large to three extra. You see what it does? I don't know if you guys can see that. Literally unprovoked. It just rolls up. So I would need, um, uh, so I would need the two extra large to three extra large and I'll definitely buy this again. I know for 500 and something, I would buy this again. I, I really would. This is item number one. Uh, really great, just I got the wrong size. 
large to extra large is not it. I would need to go to two extra large to three extra large. I actually think two extra large to three extra large is going to be too big. I think the, the perfect sizing for me would be extra large to two extra large. Because here on the cup, it's filled up really well. And it's holding my boobs up really well. But here, it's too small. And here, it keeps rolling up. And here as well, which are grading points. Um, which means when you go a size up, those are the parts that, that grow in size. Um, so... If, I, if they had an extra large to a two extra large, this would be perfect. Um, unfortunately, they don't. It's large to extra large. After that, it's two extra large to three extra large. And I'm an extra large. The perfect thing would be an extra large to a two extra large. Not a two extra large to three extra large. But I'm willing to try it. I'm definitely willing to get this again um, as something to wear comfortably in the house. So this is the pep bra. I'm going to just stand on the side so I can also insert... Um, the skims try and haul clip so you guys can see i have a ton of side boobage with this pep bra um, on both sides one side is worse than the other my boobs don't really separate and sit in separate parts um, so you guys will realize there's like this scrunchiness here in the middle of both bras that one the skims one is better than this pep one um, i don't really get that separation of one boob and the other boobs kind of like they're just squished in together with the pep bra and then underneath it does not have that sticky thing so it literally it's sinking inside the skims one rolls up this one sinks inside so when i pull it down like this it literally just it it gets swallowed by my boobs and it doesn't feel like my boobs are sitting, standing like that. It feels like they're just resting, okay? It's like they're just resting inside the fabric. Where else in the skims one, it feels like they're sitting like this. Like, they're sitting like this. Where else in this one, it's like they're just hanging inside. And this is a pep bra. I believe this bra is like 70 rand or something like that. It comes in, I think, four colors. There's like a peach, a black, and this color. And I think like a light, light Caucasian color or something. I don't know but yeah it, it just it doesn't have that same support as skims um let me just be clear guys i'm not a kim kardashian fan i don't even know all the sisters or what's going on i don't keep up i really don't care um so i am able to give you guys like a very objective review like with no bias um and definitely for this bra the skims bra is doing really really well this this is just not it this i could never go outside with it like i could never go to the dustbin i could never go fetch a package with it this is literally for sleeping and even sleeping my boob can slip out or feel like it's like exiting like it's not comfortable you don't feel secure in this item number two from my skims haul is the sculpting short mid thigh in the color cocoa once again and in the size large extra large 535 i have not even opened these or tried them on so i'm really excited once again it just has that window over there the sides are plain just like that and then they just have a picture that really showcases um the tight i don't know if this is the picture for all the tights or because i got coco i got a box that has like the brown the dark brown i don't know if that's how it works or if they just give you whatever. I don't know if they color coordinated according to what you ordered because the top over here does also say it's the color cocoa and it is available in different colors. So this is the sculpting mid this is the sculpting mid thigh shorts and I'm opening them up for the first time with you guys. It looks like once again they've used that plain paper. I really don't understand this cardboard thing. It's like a like a cardboard guys do you guys see how tiny this is this looks like a toddler's not even one i crash whose bums are going to fit in here like honestly like honestly yeah <laughs> have you ever gotten shape wear and feeling it like it feels thick feeling it you're already nervous like watch off it just feels restricting just holding it that's how this already feels um but yeah guys let us try it on once again it has that sticky part as well this is actually quite sticky um this part over here and it just says skims extra large over there 78 percent nylon 22 percent spandex machine wash on cold do not bleach 
um, and you can tumble dry it on low okay so the outside is the normal fabric we're used to for shapewear it's just a little bit thicker the inside is more of like um, a velvety fabric it's actually quite interesting but that's just here at the stomach part the rest of it is like the normal fabric that we're used to so this should be very interesting this should be very very interesting guys let's whew, i'm so nervous let's put on these toddler pads so to review item number two i am wearing this beautiful bodycon dress it is double layered so it is a little bit more forgiving you won't really be able to see my cellulite you can still see it, but you won't really be able to see it and i have eaten so we've got a nice bloated stomach to work with okay so this is what i look like without the shape where i am wearing the sculpted bra just to also give you guys an idea of how it actually looks um, but the sculpted bra, my understanding is that it's for lounging. It's not really to be worn to go somewhere. Okay, so this is what I look like without the shapewear. And just for size reference, you guys can literally see how tiny this is. I'm very nervous because even pulling it, it literally is not pulling all the way to like the ends of my hips. So I really don't know how I'm going to get into this, but I'm going to try and fit my buttocks into these little buttocks i really don't know how this is going to work but then we'll be able to see what it looks like when it's on this is our after i am wearing the shapewear guys putting this tight on is such a struggle yo i fully believe you cannot do this with nails on like i had to pull and squeeze and 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 this, I don't think you can put these on with nails on. I think you're going to poke a few holes, maybe even break your nail, hurt your finger or something. Because really, this is just, yo. Yeah. Anyway, the shapewear is on. It is definitely sucking me in. I really don't know if I would last a whole day in this. Because I can feel it. It's like, I can, whoo. Whoo. I can feel it. Like, I can feel it. Like, I really can feel it. But it doesn't feel restricting so far. It just feels firm. Like I'm very aware that I'm wearing shapewear. I remember in my previous shapewear haul when I featured Bear Silhouette, somebody said, oh my gosh, I really want shapewear, but I just don't want to feel restricted. And it's like, I don't think that's possible. I really don't think that's possible because shapewear is literally somebody holding you in, holding your fat in and squeezing it in. And you walk around like that and then you get home and you let it out. Like, you know? So yeah, this is how it looks. So this is my side view now. My, this is my back view. This is my other side view. And this is my front view. And I still have that bra on um, from the Skims collection. It feels like it's actually a little bit too small here at the cups. I may need to definitely try out that two and three extra large. Let me show you guys how it actually looks under this garment. So this is how it looks. I hope you guys can see. And it does have that sticky part here. So you've got the sticky part there. And this is what it looks like. So they have different lengths for this part according to whatever you need. Yo, guys, okay. Number three. And this is the one that is supposed to be like a game changer, all right? Number three is the Sculpting Bodysuit Mid-Thigh um, Open Gazette in the size large, extra large in the color Onyx. And it is 1,100 Rand. So definitely not cheap. Has the window as well. And there is just the print on the sides. And then it has skims. This is like embossed. It like it's, it's, this is raised up. And then I got onyx and I'm seeing that they're showing the light color. So I don't think they actually color coordinate this picture. Um, I don't know, but I don't think so. So this cardboard, guys, is just normal like packaging. It's not like hard. It's not a box. It's not like a gift box. It's just like average packaging, honestly. But it does have like a velvety finish to it, like a velvety touch to it. A very light velvety touch to it. So once again cardboard oh my gosh there is no way i'm fitting into this this does not even look like 13 to 14 this looks like seven years old not even seven i think kids who are seven are bigger than this this looks like a three-year-old honestly 
Sure. Look at the buttocks. Okay, so I'm gonna try fit into this. This feels even thicker than the previous one that you guys just saw. That the um, the tight one, and I'm gonna try, even though I think it's a bad idea, to put it on without a bra to see how it would fit. Even though, like my boob, I think this is the size of my nipple, and my what's that black part on your boob? Areola. This literally, sure. Okay, so this does come in a lot of colors, guys. On the website, the idea or the vibe is that you find the color that's as close as possible to your skin tone. I don't do that because I don't wear sheer stuff or things that need me to wear shapewear that's my skin color. I just go for the color that I like. So even if they had pink shapewear, I would buy it because I don't wear city girl stuff. I don't wear clear stuff. I don't wear transparent stuff. Or stuff like that where I need my shapewear or my base to look like my skin tone but the whole concept is that you go there and you find the one that looks like your skin tone I don't do that because I don't wear clothes that need me to do that okay so even the lightest lightest one like I could get like a white one like for white people I would still be fine with that um, it really doesn't matter for me okay guys let's put on this last one I'm nervous item number three guys I cannot actually believe this this is crazy. I keep crossing my legs because it's an open gazette. So um, it's open underneath so that you can pee. There's a big hole under your vagina so that you can literally just go and pee. But this is incredible. First of all, I'm not wearing a bra. I'm literally just wearing the shapewear alone. And it is holding up my 36 G cup boobs. This is actually holding them up even better than the sculpting bra and I think it's because the sculpting bra I got the wrong size but my boobs are standing indi individually which is incredible the straps are adjustable getting into this was an absolute nightmare the way it sucked in my stomach I feel like I have a six pack like like I feel like my abs are rock hard like that's how much it squished my fats together it feels hard and i don't have abs you know um and it's shaping me so nicely like who is that mama africa come on girl look at me like what what okay so we're gonna put on a dress i'm really not sure if the gazette is showing anything we're gonna put on a dress just to see how it looks um with the dress on top but so far darling this is incredible the straps are definitely digging in but I think it's a me thing, um, like I have really large breasts, so it is quite challenging in general. Let's put on that dress and see how it looks. So this is how the dress looks with item number three. No bra on, I am a 36 G cup. I am not wearing a bra. My boobs feel as hard as stone. They're just sitting, like it is incredible. It is literally incredible, I've never, felt shapewear like this like this is brilliant i am smoothed out i am held in but this is definitely like a struggle to get in i really do not see how anyone can put these on with nails like they they you literally you fight you literally fight to put this on so i really don't see how anyone can put this on um with nails i just i just don't see it the shapewear is incredible guys absolutely love it um for me because i'm insecure about like the back of my leg like here just be behind my knee i would want it to go lower and i believe they do have like a longer one plus i don't really wear things that are above my knee so i think if i were to purchase again i'd get this exact same one but then going lower like with a longer leg i think that would really be great this is absolutely stunning i am in love with this so this is my side view now my back view. Maybe sit up. And my side view again. And just like that. Unfortunately, you cannot remove these straps. It would be nice if you could remove them and put in a clear strap um, so that you could wear like a boob tube or something because the support on this is absolutely incredible. I wish this was removable, um, but the straps are pretty thin. It's not like it's some thick straps. I think for most items, you should be able to wear them really nicely with the shape we're on. Guys, in conclusion, 
my thoughts on skims on the three items that i got absolutely worth it like they are so worth it they are incredible my favorite would actually be this bra because i don't always need shapewear but this would be really really nice in the house but i need to get my size um, I do believe they accept returns, but I'm not comfortable returning intimate wear items. I just feel like it's wrong. It's just me. I just, I'm not comfortable with it, but I do believe they accept returns. So I would rather just purchase again, but in my correct size. These are fantastic. If you need to purchase between these two, get this one. For someone of my breast size, a 36 G cup. To have support i'm literally still wearing it right now i am wearing um the full bodysuit thingy for me to have support for 36 g cup breasts it's incredible like it's it, it's literally incredible i've never ever had this type of support in like just shapewear it, it's incredible so it's a mission to get into i would not do this with my nails on i literally have a nail appointment in a few days and i forced myself to film this early because i knew once i get my nails in there's no way i was going to be able to stretch those tiny baby sizes onto this extra large body like there was just no way um yeah so really really great in terms of customs guys i know customs is like really crazy um in south africa when we're importing 45 percent paid 1600 and something for my customs if you go onto the skims website they allow you to pay your customs before it comes into south africa and when i place the exact items that i got now that i ordered into my basket the estimated customs that i could have prepaid is the exact same amount as i paid dhl when it came into the country so you can either pay it when you're paying um, and just pay it once and when it comes into the country you're not going to pay anything else you're done you've paid it just comes directly to your door or you can risk it and then pay it when it comes here um, and the reason i was willing to risk it is that sometimes you don't pay like that's an estimate sometimes you don't pay like i ordered from fashion nova i'm going to do the haul for you guys and i didn't pay and it came with the skims package and it's also from the usa um and i didn't pay any customs okay so sometimes you might not pay but if you do pay then um then it's going to be the same amount as they estimated on the skims website so it is completely up to you i would rather not pay when i'm checking out and just hold on to the money and then if i have to pay i'll pay it because either way i was going to pay it when i was checking out but i just decided no let me not pay it let me just hold on to the money and then i'll pay if you're going to be importing guys you must seriously have money sitting around because the charges can come out of the blue and when they come they want them within seven days you cannot have something at um customs for like 21 days if you do it's going to go i believe it's called the state warehouse and you'll be charged for storage for them holding it until you have the money to pay customs um so i i i really do not suggest importing if you do not have the money lying around to pay customs my number one rule when buying internationally when importing is if i spend two thousand rand in another country in an international business i must have two thousand rand sitting around in case customs comes customs for me um, is normally never more than 50%. Um, with clothing, it's normally 45% of your purchase value. So the amount you spend in another country, they will transfer that value, whether it's pounds or it's dollars, into rands at the exchange rate when you purchase. And then they'll take 45% of that total amount and you'll have to pay that in customs. Um, so for me, normally it's like if I spend 2,000, I must have 2,000 Rand for customs and normally customs would be like 1,000 Rand or 800 Rand or something of the sort. But you're not always charged customs. You guys might purchase after me and you guys might not get charged customs. I did get charged customs and honestly, it was not fun paying it. But now that I have the items on me, absolutely brilliant please let me know if you guys are interested in me reviewing that loungewear i'll leave some pictures here to show you guys what the loungewear is and getting the sculpting bra in the other size and maybe a different color for you guys and if you want to support my channel if you want to continue to make these videos possible because i used money from hair reviews to make this video to purchase these items um please watch my hair reviews 
watching my youtube ads does doesn't really help me like watching the ads on youtube doesn't really help me my money on youtube comes from the hair reviews so watch any of my hair reviews i do have an installation tutorial for this wig even though i've had it in for days now it's been quite some time since i've glued down this wig and i've literally been sleeping with a ponytail on my head um so it's kind of old when you guys are seeing it. it's not as fresh as it was previously um but if you really want to support my channel please watch my hair reviews just like it watch it for one minute that's all you have to do like it and leave a comment oh you look cute this hair is really nice i'm gonna check it out you can even click one of the links in the description box because they do track how many people click those links that's how you can really help me on this channel to continue to provide these type of videos for you guys so I forgot to mention that we do have skims available locally from Boutique SA. I'll leave their website link in the description box. So if you add your shipping and your customs payment, you might find that the item you're purchasing, it's cheaper to just buy it from Boutique SA. Their prices are higher than the skims website. They have added their profit. But once you calculate it properly, you might find that it's actually cheaper to buy from them. So if you're really serious about buying from them and you also want it quickly, want it from South Africa somewhere here, then this could work for you. The skims is really not cheap if you are looking for something similar but on a budget check out bear silhouette i have reviewed them before on my youtube channel a lot of you guys have purchased from them and are very happy with your order they have most of the stuff on the skims website in a really really great quality very similar to the skim stuff the only thing i did not see from them is like that bra but everything else they have similar items and this is actually where i purchase all of my shapewear this is where it comes from and they're based in sa thank you guys so much for watching if there is other items from the skims website you want me to review let me know i'm definitely up for doing a part two for you guys and i have an idea of how i could make this more affordable in terms of customs so if you guys do want a second video then maybe i can show and explain to you guys how i'm thinking of doing it we can test it out and see if it actually works to lower this customs amount because it, it, it really brings the total amount i spent to a ridiculous amount for shapewear you know thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video please do subscribe bye